Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday. How are we all? I'm Lorna, and I'm here again today for lots and lots of fun. Now, I thought today we could see if Mary is in her case and see what fun she might have in store for us today. Now, I'm just going to open her case and get her out. One second. It's not working. Are we all ready to shout the magic words so we can open Mary's case? Can we remember what it is? Yeah, it is Mary, Mary, where have you been? Are we all ready, boys and girls, nice and loud? Mary, Mary, where have you been? Shall we see if that's worked? Hang on a second. No. No, it hasn't worked. It's not open. So that means that we need to be louder. And we also need to clap our hands to make lots and lots of noise. Are we ready after three? One, two, three. Mary, Mary, where have you been? Shall we see if that's where this time, boys and girls? Let's have a look. One, two. But today, our case is completely empty. I don't know what that's about, but I have a letter inside. Shall we read it and see what it says? I don't know where Mary is. I wonder where she could be. She must be on an adventure somewhere, looking for other things. Shall we see what the letter says? Lorna, that's me. I have gone to look for some exciting things to do. And I have a challenge for the boys and girls to do. Go to the kitchen and find five things. Pots, pans, spoons, who knows what you will bring. Love, Mary. And then she's put at the very, very bottom, P.S. Ask a grown-up for help. So she must know that in the kitchen sometimes there can be things that we're not allowed to touch, we're not allowed to, only grown-ups can touch. So, that sounds like a challenge. I think I need to join in on this challenge as well. So, boys and girls, I'll tell you again, you need to go into the kitchen now and see if you can find five things. We could have pans, we could have lids of pans, we could have spoons or maybe a fork. We could have some plastic cups maybe. I don't know. Whatever you have in your kitchen. But that's our challenge by Mary. So she must be looking in the kitchen for her five things. So I am going to say bye bye for now really quickly while I go and see what Mary might be doing and to see if she's got any things while you go and find all of yours. Okay, I will see you very soon. Bye. Welcome back everybody. So Mary set us a challenge. Did you manage to get your things from the kitchen? Did you? Did you find five things? Did you? Because look what I have noticed. Mary's case is already open. It's open from before we went to find all of our things. Shall we see if Mary's back and we'll see if she found anything in the kitchen as well? Shall we have a look? Let's go and have a look. Hello, Mary. Who have we got here? Oh, Mary is back. And she's been in the kitchen trying to find lots of things. I know you told the boys and girls to get them as well. Yeah, she knows. We know that you had to go and find five things as well, don't we? Shall we see what you found? Yeah, okay, let's have a look. Right, let's put you there. Oh, we have a 
spoon. We have a pan. We've got a plate, a plastic plate, a nice pink plastic plate. I like that. We have a lid to the pan. We've got a lid. And we have, hmm, I don't know what this is. I think it's something off the hoover. It looks like it's something off the hoover. Oh, so we've got all of these things. What are we going to do with all of these things? So we've got a thing off the hoover, a plate, a pan lid, a pan and a spoon. Look like very much fun things to me. Do they look like fun things to you? And I don't know what things that you've got in your house, but in the kitchen, they do look like very fun things. Shall we see what Mary's got planned for us? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got another letter. She wants me to make a steering wheel, a drum, a guitar, a hat, and a flute. With those things? Oh, I need to use my imagination for this one, don't I? Shall we have a look and see what I can come up with? Hang on a second. Ah, well, for the drum, boys and girls, so if you have a pan and if you have a spoon, we can easily make a drum and make lots of bashing sounds. And if you have lots of pans and lots of spoons, you could make lots of drums, couldn't you? I bet your grown-ups in your house would love it if you could make lots of noise like this. Or we could even turn it this way and make lots of noise like that. Like a drum. Wow! Do you think that you could do that? So if you haven't got a pan and if you haven't got a spoon now, when we finish all this, you can go and find a pan and you can go and find a spoon. And you can make lots and lots of noise like a big bass drum. Yeah, because when we do our music songs, we use the drum, don't we? When we do the music man, he has a big bass drum. Shall we see what else we can use? Oh, so we need a steering wheel. Now, when a steering wheel in the car, it's round like a circle, isn't it? So, can we use this? No. Can we use the spoon again to make a steering wheel? No, not really. Can we use this? Can we use the plate? Yes, we can. So we can steer it round and round and round like this. And if we were singing the wheels on the bus, we could pretend we were driving the bus round and round with our steering wheel like this, couldn't we? We could use that. Or if when you go into a grown-up's car, we can pretend that we're driving. That looks like me driving in the car like this. And we can drive really slowly like that as we turn the corners. And we can turn this way. And we can turn this way with our steering wheel plate. Now, what else did we need to get? Can we remember? It was a hat. <gasps> could we use this for a hat? We could, couldn't we? We could use this for a hat. We could use it as a pink hat. But we've already used this one before, haven't we? Should we see what else we could use? Could we use the pan? We could. We could put it on our head, like a hat. Like this, with a pan, couldn't we? But what haven't we used? Oh, we haven't used this lid. We haven't used our lid. And with the handle on the top, it looks like a little tiny bubble hat, doesn't it? So we can have this as our hat. Can you balance that very carefully on your head? Wow, so we've got our hat, which is normally a pan lid, but we're using our imagination with all of these things and we are changing them into different things. What else could we use a pan lid for? Hmm, 
So you think that you can have a think of all the things that you could use a pamphlet for and you could put them all in the comments and maybe take some pictures of you using a panel lid for something else. Now, what else do we need to make? Let's have a look, let's check our list. We've made a steering wheel, yes. We've made a drum, yes. A guitar. Oh, now this might be a bit tricky. How do we make a guitar out of a pan, a pan lid, a plate, a spoon, and a thingy off the hoover? Could we use this? Mm, not really. Could we use this? Mm, not really. Can we use the spoon? Yes, we can. So our super spoon is no longer a spoon. It is a guitar and we can play the instruments like this as we play the guitar. So you can have lots of guitars. If you've got lots of different spoons, it's not a spoon anymore. It's a super musical instrument spoon. And you can play it with your drum in your own band that we've just made. So you can have your drum and then you can play your musical guitar. That was a spoon. Now the last thing that we need to make is a flute. It's a flute, so a flute. We do it like this, don't we? So I think maybe it could be the thingy off the hula. So we could play the flute like this. As we play the musical instrument flute with this, couldn't we? And I wonder what else we could use this for. But Mary's asked us to make a flute, so we've done that. We've done a good job. So we've made lots and lots of things today out of using five items from the kitchen. Our pan is no longer a pan, it's a drum or a hat. Our plate became a super steering wheel. Our pan lid became a hat. Our spoon became a guitar, or we could use it to hit the drum with. And our little thingy off the hoover became a flute. So, whatever that you might have found in your kitchen, I wonder what you made. So I'm gonna put all of those things back in Mary's case, because we need to tidy up when we've got things out of the kitchen. We need to put them back, don't we? One second. There we go. Let's put them all back in there. I am going to close Mary's case. And I hope you've had lots of fun with us this morning. And all of the things that you found. I wonder what you've made. Have you made anything different to what I have today? If you have, you could take some pictures. You can put them in our comments and we can see. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.